Hello everyone, Epic Exotics here and welcome to the semi-finals of the ultimate pet battle. We will have the corn snake versus the dumpy frog. And then the next round, which I can already hear the comments rolling. I can already he I can already feel I don't know how to describe it, but cats versus dogs. Now some people may not agree with that, but it just is what it is. But we're going to start with the more, not easier, but non-controversial one. These are all pretty controversial. These are all based on my opinion. We have the Dumpy Frog versus the Corn Snake. If you um, if you watch the all the other ones, you already know what goes into taking care of, all, of both these animals. But I'm going to go on this one with the corn snake here's the thing a corn snake you can't get eat the only thing i put the only reason why i put a corn snake out of a dumpy frog dumpy frogs will make a blob like literally right this they will look like a blob in the back of their tank until nighttime it's the only reason they they arguably would have won this and also corn snakes are very handleable that is why the corn snake is our the corn snake is our first animal that will move on to the championship. Wow. Wow. The championship. Wow. We got the corn snake. The corn snake had to beat out the, Chil the Chilean rosehair tarantula. Then it had to. Well, even before the tarantula, it had to beat five other amazing pet reptiles. Then it had to beat the Chilean rosehair tarantula. I'm even going further back. It had to make an S tier. Had to beat the five other re great pet reptiles. Had to beat the Chilean rosehair tarantula. Now it just beat the dumpy frog. That's four rounds that it could have been eliminated. It had four chances to be eliminated. It never was. That kind of shows you how good of a pet the corn snake is. Look at this. Found a snake thing. It's not even... Oh, it's one of those sequins. I think I got this at the aquarium. Huh. Looks really weird. Doesn't even look like a corn snake. I don't know why I'm sh showing you this. It looks like an emerald tree boa. Yeet. Alright, now. Cats versus dogs. Dogs, best animals on the earth for interaction. Cats, the most chill animals you will ever meet. Dogs. Need walks, need you to pick up their doo-doo and all that. Fixing my hair. Need a lot of attention. Cats. Ooh, that litter box isn't fun. That litter box is stunk guy. That is a bad litter box. You do not want to be stuck with litter box duties. Trust me, I have. It's not fun. Also, cats are a little unpredictable. You never know, but they are so cute. I love cats. Dogs barking. Hey, you're not helping your case here. Dogs can bark a lot. Cats, meow, 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 meow. Yeah, that, cats don't go that loud, but they just do the little meow. Dogs will, meow. Well, not all dogs. As you can tell, mine does that. Okay. For the bathroom situation, because this are probably what it comes down to, I rather pick up, pick up the stuff, throw it out, opposed to scooping it out. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go with dogs on this. I know some people are gonna be like, oh, "I'm so offended that you didn't pick cats. You're the worst person ever." It's just my opinion. If you think that cats are better pets than dogs, that's awesome. It's your opinion, but. I will put dogs ahead of cats. That is just my opinion. We have done the classic matchup of cats versus dogs. And honestly, I think that's I think that's fair. But you could think otherwise. But yeah, it looks like the championship round. You want... Okay, Higgins, that's his name. I'll show you him very soon on the channel. Higgins, if you want to stay in the championship round, stop barking. Conti continues to bark. 
All right, but the championship round we have dogs versus corn snakes head to head. What? All right, I don't know what I just did on the planet of Earth, but I hope to see you soon. Subscribe and yay!